Have you ever wondered which country has over 1,500 lakes, speaks four official languages, and is the birthplace of the world's favorite treat, chocolate? Welcome to Switzerland, a land of breathtaking landscapes and intriguing culture. Stick around till the end because we're saving the most fascinating detail for last. You won't want to miss it. This is Kabuma Travel, your gateway to the world's wonders. Nestled in the heart of Europe, Switzerland is more than just picturesque mountains and delicious cheese. It's a fusion of diverse cultures and histories, where tradition meets innovation. Let's embark on a journey through the Swiss Alps, explore the vibrant cities, and uncover the secrets of this enchanting country. How to get to Switzerland. We'll start with focusing on a question many of you have asked. How do you get to Switzerland, the land of the Alps, cheese, and chocolate? First things first, let's talk about flights. Switzerland is well connected to the rest of the world with its main international airports in Zurich, Geneva, and Basel. Zurich Airport, also known as Klotten Airport, is the largest and a major hub for international flights. For those of you coming from the US, Canada, or Asia, Zurich is likely your best bet. Geneva Airport is ideal if you're traveling from European destinations or if you're heading to the French-speaking part of Switzerland. Now, let's discuss airlines. Switzerland's flag carrier, Swiss International Airlines, offers direct flights from major cities around the world. Other international airlines like Lufthansa, British Airways, and Emirates also have regular flights to Switzerland. My tip? Keep an eye out for flight deals and book in advance to snag the best prices. If you're in Europe, you've got additional options. Consider taking a train or driving. Switzerland's rail network is famously efficient and connects with the rest of Europe. The high-speed TGV from Paris, ICE trains from Germany, and Eurocity trains from Italy are great options. Traveling by train offers you stunning scenic views, especially as you enter the Swiss countryside. For those who prefer the flexibility of a road trip, driving to Switzerland is straightforward. The country shares borders with France, Germany, Austria, Italy, and Liechtenstein, making it easily accessible. Remember, you'll need a motorway vignette, a toll sticker that allows you to use Switzerland's motorways. Once you're in Switzerland, getting around is a breeze thanks to the Swiss travel system. This integrated network of trains, buses, and boats covers the entire country. The Swiss Travel Pass is a great investment, offering unlimited travel and access to many museums and attractions. What about accommodation? Switzerland offers a range of options, from luxury hotels to cozy mountain chalets and budget-friendly hostels. My advice? Book your accommodation in advance, especially during peak seasons like summer and winter. And a quick note on visas. If you're not from the Schengen area, you might need a visa to enter Switzerland. Check the requirements based on your nationality and apply well in advance of your trip. Finally, no matter when you plan to visit, pack appropriately. Swiss weather can be unpredictable, especially in the mountains. Layers are your best friend, and don't forget a good pair of walking shoes. Best time to go to Switzerland. Now we're diving into a crucial question for all you travel enthusiasts planning a trip to Switzerland. When is the best time to visit? From snow-capped peaks to blooming meadows, Switzerland's beauty knows no bounds. But timing your trip right can make all the difference. Switzerland is a year-round destination, but your ideal time to visit depends on what you want to do. Let's break it down season by season, starting with winter. December to March is a winter wonderland in Switzerland. It's the perfect time for skiing, snowboarding, and other snow sports. Resorts in Zermatt, St. Moritz, and Davos offer world-class slopes and vibrant après ski scenes. The country also hosts numerous winter festivals, like the International Balloon Festival in Chateau d'Oie. But remember, winter in Switzerland isn't just about sports. It's also a magical time for those who love cozy mountain retreats, steaming cups of hot chocolate, and enchanting Christmas markets. Cities like Zurich and Lucerne are beautifully lit and festive during the holiday season. As the snow melts, we welcome spring from April to June. This is a fantastic time to visit if you want to avoid the crowds and enjoy milder weather. Spring breathes life into Switzerland's landscapes with blooming flowers and green pastures. It's ideal for hiking, especially in late spring when the mountain trails start to open up. Plus, the lower tourist traffic during this season means more peaceful exploration and often better deals on accommodation. Better deals. Next up, summer from July to September. Summer in Switzerland is a dream for outdoor enthusiasts. The weather is warm, but not too hot. Perfect for hiking, biking, and swimming in Switzerland's pristine lakes. Cities like Geneva and Lausanne come alive with outdoor cafes, music festivals, and cultural events. The Swiss National Day on August 1st is a highlight, with fireworks and celebrations across the country. However, summer is also peak tourist season. If you're visiting popular destinations like the Matterhorn or Interlaken, 
expect more crowds and higher prices. My tip, explore some off the beaten path locations for a more tranquil experience. As we move into autumn from October to November, the crowds thin out and the scenery turns into a palette of reds, oranges, and yellows. It's a photographer's paradise. Autumn is also the time for grape harvests, making it ideal for visiting Switzerland's wine regions. The cooler temperatures are perfect for city tours and enjoying the cozy ambiance of Swiss cafes. A key factor to consider, regardless of the season, is regional differences. The weather can vary significantly between the lowlands and the mountains. So pack accordingly and always check local weather forecasts. So the best time to visit Switzerland really depends on what you're looking for. Whether it's winter sports, spring hikes, summer festivals, or autumn colors, each season has its unique charm. Budget for traveling to Switzerland. Now we're tackling a topic many of you have been curious about. Budgeting for a trip to Switzerland. Known for its stunning landscapes and high living standards, Switzerland is often perceived as a pricey destination. But fear not. With the right planning, you can explore this alpine paradise without breaking the bank. Let's dive into how you can make your Swiss dream a reality on a budget. Firstly, let's talk about when to visit. Timing is everything. High season in Switzerland is during the winter months for skiing and summer for hiking. Prices for flights, accommodations, and activities skyrocket during these times. To save money, consider traveling during the shoulder seasons, spring, April to June, and autumn, September to November. You'll find lower prices and fewer crowds. Now, let's move on to flights. Airfare can be one of the biggest expenses, but there are ways to cut costs. Book your flights well in advance and be flexible with your travel dates. Midweek flights often tend to be cheaper. Use flight comparison websites to find the best deals and don't shy away from budget airlines. Remember, flying into major airports like Zurich or Geneva is typically more affordable than smaller airports. Accommodation in Switzerland varies widely in price. To save, consider staying in hostels, budget hotels, or Airbnb options. Another great option is to look for family-run guest houses or B and Amp Bs, which are often more affordable and offer a more authentic experience. For the adventurous, camping is also popular and there are numerous well-maintained campgrounds. Eating out in Switzerland can be expensive, but there are ways to dine without draining your wallet. Opt for local diners or cafes rather than touristy restaurants. Supermarkets like Migros and Coop offer great value for ready-to-eat meals and snacks. Don't forget to try the street food, which is delicious and affordable. Transportation in Switzerland is efficient, but can be costly. The Swiss Travel Pass can be a good investment, offering unlimited travel on trains, buses, and boats, plus free or discounted entry to many attractions. For shorter stays or specific routes, consider point-to-point -point tickets or regional passes. Also, Switzerland is a great country to explore by bike, which can be a budget-friendly option. Attractions in Switzerland range from pricey to free. While some activities like skiing or mountain excursions can be expensive, there are plenty of free or low-cost options. Hiking, visiting local markets, and exploring the charming Swiss towns and cities can be done on a minimal budget. Many museums offer free entry on certain days, so check their schedules. Lastly, let's talk about shopping. Switzerland is famous for its chocolates, watches, and army knives. While it's tempting to splurge, remember these can be pricey. Look for local markets or shops off the beaten path for better deals, and always set a budget for souvenirs to avoid overspending. To sum up, Traveling to Switzerland on a budget is definitely achievable with some planning and smart choices. Remember, the beauty of Switzerland isn't just in its luxury resorts or expensive activities, but in its natural landscapes, rich culture, and the experiences you create. Best places to visit in Switzerland. Now we're embarking on a virtual tour of Switzerland, a country renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, rich culture, and iconic landmarks. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, a history buff, or just in it for some relaxation, Switzerland has something special for everyone. Grab your virtual backpacks as we unveil the best places to visit in this stunning country. First on our list is the majestic Matterhorn in Zermatt. This iconic pyramid-shaped peak is one of the most photographed mountains in the world. Zermatt, a car-free village, offers spectacular views and is a haven for skiing, hiking, and mountaineering. Whether you're an adrenaline junkie or a scenery lover, the Matterhorn is a must visit. Next up, let's head to Lucerne a city that perfectly encapsulates Switzerland's charm. With its preserved medieval architecture, including the famous chapel bridge and water tower, Lucerne offers a step back in time. Don't miss the Lion Monument, a touching tribute to Swiss guards. The city is also a gateway to nearby mountains like Pilatus and Rigi, perfect for day trips. For all the culture vultures, Bern, the capital city, is your go-to destination. 
Strolling through the UNESCO-listed Old Town, with its 16th-century fountains, impressive federal palace, and the Zitglaga, an ancient clock tower, is like walking through history. The Bear Park and the Rosengarten offer a great view of the city and are perfect for a leisurely afternoon. No trip to Switzerland is complete without visiting the stunning Lake Geneva. This crescent-shaped lake is bordered by Geneva on the west and Lausanne on the east. The region is famous for its vineyards, especially around Laveau, offering picturesque vistas and delicious local wines. In Geneva, explore the Old Town, the United Nations headquarters, and the Jet d'eau, one of the city's most famous landmarks. Adventure seekers, head to Interlaken. Nestled between Lake Thun and Lake Brienz, and surrounded by the Eiger, Manche, and Jungfrau Mountains, Interlaken is a hub for outdoor sports. From paragliding and skydiving to hiking and kayaking, there's an array of activities to get your adrenaline pumping. For a more relaxed experience, visit the Swiss National Park in the Engadine Valley. As Switzerland's only national park, it offers 170 square kilometers of unspoiled nature, with hiking trails through woodlands, over rolling hills, and along clear mountain streams. Keep an eye out for diverse wildlife, including marmots, red deer, and ibexes. Now, let's talk about the heart of Swiss watchmaking, La Chaux de Fon. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is not just about watches. It's a city that breeds creativity and innovation. The architecture and urban planning here are unique and a real treat for architecture enthusiasts. Last but not least, the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland, Titino. With its Mediterranean flair, it's a slice of Italy in Switzerland. The cities of Lugano and Locarno, with their beautiful lakesides, palm-lined promenades, and vibrant festivals, are great for relaxation and cultural immersion. And there you have it, folks, a glimpse into the diverse and enchanting world of Switzerland. Each of these destinations holds its own unique charm and is waiting to be explored. Best restaurants in Switzerland. Now we're going to take you on a gastronomic journey to Switzerland, a country not just known for its stunning landscapes, but also for its incredible culinary scene. From traditional Swiss dishes to innovative gourmet experiences, we're going to uncover the best restaurants that Switzerland has to offer. Our first stop is the vibrant city of Zurich, where we visit the renowned Kronenhalle, this isn't just a restaurant, it's a piece of history. With walls adorned with original artworks by Picasso and Matisse, dining here is an experience for both the palate and the eyes. Their traditional Swiss dishes, particularly the Zürcher Geschnitzeltes, are a must try. Next, we journey to Geneva, to the elegant and sophisticated restaurant de l'Hôtel de Ville. This restaurant, boasting multiple Michelin stars, offers a menu that is a symphony of flavors and innovation. The brainchild of chef Frank Giovannini, the restaurant serves up exquisite dishes that are as much a visual feast as they are a delight to the taste buds. Heading over to the Italian-speaking region of Ticino, we find Grotto San Rocco. This restaurant offers a charming, rustic experience with a terrace overlooking Lake Maggiore. The cuisine here is simple yet mouth-watering, focusing on local, seasonal ingredients. Don't leave without trying their polenta, a Ticino specialty. In the heart of the Swiss Alps, in St. Moritz, we discover the unique Badritz Palace Hotel's Le Restaurant. This place is not just about fine dining, it's an indulgence in luxury. The grandeur of the dining room complements the exquisite culinary creations, offering a sophisticated interpretation of international and Swiss cuisine. For a truly unforgettable experience, visit Schloss Schauenstein in Furstenau. Chef Andreas Caminata has turned this castle into a dining destination that attracts gourmands from around the globe. The menu is a creative blend of local traditions and modern gastronomy, making each dish a unique work of art. No culinary tour of Switzerland would be complete without a visit to Bern, to the famous Kornhauskeller. Housed in a stunning historic granary, this restaurant serves traditional Swiss dishes in an atmosphere that's rich with heritage. The fondue here is legendary and is best enjoyed with a glass of local wine. In Lausanne, we find the sleek and modern Anne-Sophie Pick at the Beau Rivage Palace. As the name suggests, this restaurant is run by the celebrated chef Anne-Sophie Pick, and it's her only restaurant outside of France. The cuisine is a blend of French and Swiss influences, creating flavors that are both familiar and innovative. Lastly, for a taste of avant-garde cuisine, visit Echo in Ascona. This Michelin-starred restaurant is known for its creative and visually stunning dishes. The chefs here are masters of blending textures and flavors, making each dish a unique gastronomic experience. So, there you have it, a culinary tour of Switzerland's best restaurants. Each of these places offers not just amazing food, but an experience that you'll remember long after your meal. Best resorts in Switzerland. Now we're stepping into the world of opulence and grandeur, exploring the best resorts in Switzerland. 
From snowy mountain retreats to lakeside paradises, Switzerland offers some of the most luxurious and breathtaking resorts in the world. Ready to dive into a world of elegance and relaxation? Let's go! Our first destination is the legendary Badrutz Palace in St. Moritz. This iconic hotel, standing majestically since 1896, offers a timeless blend of luxury and alpine charm. In winter, it's a ski paradise, and in summer, a haven for hiking and golfing. The hotel's spa, with its panoramic views, is a sanctuary for those seeking rejuvenation. Next, we travel to the serene shores of Lake Geneva, to the Beau Rivage Palace in Lausanne. This resort is a harmonious blend of historical elegance and contemporary comfort. With its Michelin-starred restaurant and a world-class spa, the Beau Rivage Palace is a destination where luxury meets tranquility. In the heart of the Swiss Alps, we find the Chedi Andermatt. This resort redefines mountain luxury with its Asian-inspired design and impeccable service. The Chedi Andermatt is a perfect retreat for those who love the great outdoors, offering easy access to skiing, hiking, and mountain biking. For a truly unique experience, let's head to the Bergenstock Resort near Lucerne. Perched atop a forested ridge, this resort offers stunning views of Lake Lucerne. With its blend of modern architecture and historical buildings, the Bergenstock is a masterpiece. The resort's clifftop infinity pool is a highlight, offering breathtaking views while you swim. No list of Swiss resorts would be complete without mentioning the Dolder Grand in Zurich. Overlooking the city, this fairy tale castle like resort is a blend of luxury, art, and innovation. With a two Michelin starred restaurant and a world class spa, the Dolder Grand is a sanctuary in the heart of a bustling city. For a lakeside retreat, we visit the Grand Hotel Villa Castagnola in Lugano. Nestled in a lush Mediterranean garden, this resort is a haven of peace and elegance. The villa, with its exquisite rooms and fine dining options, is perfect for those seeking a blend of Swiss and Italian luxury. In the enchanting town of Gestad, the Gestad Palace stands out with its grandeur and charm. Known for its celebrity guests and exclusive ambiance, the palace is a world unto itself. Whether it's winter skiing or summer hiking, the Gestad Palace offers a royal retreat in all seasons. Lastly, we explore the Chugen Grand Hotel in Arosa. This architectural marvel is known for its distinctive sail-shaped spa roof and its private mountain railway. The Chugen offers an intimate and exclusive experience surrounded by the tranquil beauty of the Swiss Alps. And there you have it, a tour of Switzerland's most luxurious resorts. Each of these destinations offers a unique experience combining natural beauty with unmatched luxury. Natural beauty of Switzerland. Now we're exploring the breathtaking natural beauty of Switzerland. This country is a treasure trove of picturesque landscapes from majestic mountains to serene lakes and everything in between. So grab your virtual hiking boots as we embark on a journey through Switzerland's most stunning natural wonders. Our first stop is the iconic Matterhorn. Towering over the Swiss Alps, this pyramid-shaped peak is a sight to behold. Whether you're viewing it from Zermatt or trekking the surrounding trails, the Matterhorn is a symbol of Switzerland's rugged beauty. In winter, it's a snowy paradise. In summer, a hiker's dream. Next, we venture to the Rhine Falls, Europe's largest waterfall. Located near the town of Schaffhausen, the power and beauty of these falls are mesmerizing. You can take boat trips to get up close or view them from the many vantage points along the river. The falls are especially impressive during the snowmelt season in spring. Switzerland is also home to some of the most beautiful lakes in the world, and Lake Geneva is a prime example. With its crescent shape and backdrop of the Alps, it offers postcard-perfect views. Take a leisurely boat ride, stroll along the flower-lined promenade in Montreux, or explore the vineyards of Laveau for an unforgettable experience. For a serene mountain escape, head to the Bernese Oberland and explore the Lauterbrunnen Valley. With its 72 waterfalls, verdant meadows, and towering cliffs, it's a wonderland for nature lovers. The Trummelbach Falls, hidden inside the mountain, are a must visit. No tour of Swiss natural beauty would be complete without mentioning the Aletsch Glacier, the largest glacier in the Alps. Located in the Jungfrau region, it's a stunning spectacle of ice and snow. Hiking trails around the glacier offer spectacular views and the opportunity to witness this natural wonder up close. In the heart of the country lies Lake Lucerne, surrounded by mountains and steeped in legend. Take a paddle steamer cruise to soak in the scenery, including the iconic Mount Pilatus and Rigi. The city of Lucerne, with its historic architecture, adds to the charm. For a unique experience, visit the Swiss National Park in the Engadin Valley. As Switzerland's only national park, it boasts untouched landscapes, diverse flora and fauna, and numerous hiking trails. It's a window into Switzerland's wild side. Lastly, we explore the Verzaska Valley in Ticino. With its emerald green river, rustic stone houses, and lush valleys, 
it's a paradise for photographers and nature lovers. The clear waters of the Verzasca River and the iconic Ponte de Salti, a medieval stone bridge, are highlights not to be missed. There you have it, a glimpse into the stunning natural beauty of Switzerland. Each of these places offers a unique way to connect with nature and experience the serene and unspoiled landscapes of this beautiful country, art and architecture in Switzerland. Now we're embarking on a journey through Switzerland, a country not only renowned for its scenic beauty, but also its rich artistic and architectural heritage. From medieval masterpieces to modern marvels, Switzerland's landscape is dotted with incredible works of art and architecture. So let's dive into this visual feast. Our first stop is the city of Basel, Switzerland's cultural capital. Home to the world-famous Art Basel Fair, the city is a hub for contemporary art lovers. But it's not just modern art that steals the show here. Basel's old town, with its well-preserved medieval architecture, including the stunning Basel Minster and the quaint streets of Gross Basel, is a must-see. Next, we head to Zurich, where art and architecture blend seamlessly. The Kunsthaus Zurich houses one of the most significant art collections in Switzerland, featuring works from the Middle Ages to contemporary times. Architecturally, don't miss the Fraumünster, known for its Marc Chagall windows, and the elegant Bahnhofstrasse, showcasing modern urban design. In Geneva, we find a blend of international flair and historical charm. The city's Art and History Museum is one of Switzerland's largest museums and a treasure trove of art and artifacts. Architecturally, Geneva's St. Pierre Cathedral offers a journey through different architectural styles, from ancient Roman to Gothic. Lausanne, the Olympic capital, surprises with the Olympic Museum, a modern architectural masterpiece. The city is also home to the Collection de l'Art Bru, a unique museum dedicated to outsider art, showcasing works by artists outside the mainstream art scene. No tour of Swiss art and architecture would be complete without visiting the iconic Chateau de Chillon near Montreux. This medieval castle, perched on a rocky islet on Lake Geneva, is like a scene from a fairy tale. Its halls and chambers are adorned with period art and furnishings, telling tales of a bygone era. In the heart of the Swiss Alps, Zermatt offers not only natural beauty, but also architectural wonders. The Matterhorn Museum provides insights into the cultural history of the region, housed in a building that's a work of art in itself, blending modern design with traditional Alpine styles. In the Italian-speaking region of Ticino, we find the city of Lugano. Here, the Art Museum of Lugano showcases both modern and contemporary art in a strikingly modern building. The city's blend of Italianate Lombardy-style buildings with Swiss efficiency makes its architecture unique and captivating. Lastly, let's explore the architectural wonder of the thermal baths in Vals. Designed by the famed architect Peter Zumthor, this minimalist structure made of local quartzite is a blend of art, architecture, and nature, offering an immersive experience that is both tranquil and visually stunning. Switzerland's rich tapestry of art and architecture reflects its diverse cultural heritage and innovative spirit. Each city and town tells a different story through its buildings and art, making it a fascinating destination for those who seek beauty in all its forms. Tradition and Festivals of Switzerland now we're diving into the rich tapestry of traditions and festivals in Switzerland. This country, known for its mountains and chocolates, is also a kaleidoscope of cultural celebrations that reflect its diverse heritage. From quirky local customs to grand national events, join us as we uncover the vibrant festivities that make Switzerland truly unique. Let's start with one of the most famous Swiss events, the Fasnacht Spring Carnival in Basel. Held in March, this three-day festival kicks off with the Morgestreich, a magical parade where the city plunges into darkness and comes alive with illuminated floats and lanterns. The sound of piccolos and drums fills the air in a celebration that combines history, art, and community spirit. Next, we travel to the heart of Switzerland for the Swiss National Day on August 1st. Commemorating the foundation of the Swiss Confederation, this day is marked with fireworks, bonfires, and folk music across the country. Don't miss the celebrations at the Rutley Meadow, the historic site where Switzerland was born. In the canton of Valais, we witness the unique tradition of cow fights, known as combat de rennes. This isn't your typical bullfight. It's a natural display of strength where herons' cows compete to establish hierarchy in the herd. The event is a celebration of Swiss rural life, complete with yodeling, alforn music, and lots of local cheese and wine. For a taste of Swiss winter magic, the International Balloon Festival in Chateau d'Eau is a must-see. Held in January, the sky fills with colorful hot air balloons from around the world, creating a breathtaking spectacle against the snow-covered Alps. It's a photographer's paradise and a family-friendly event. Music lovers, head to the Montreux Jazz Festival in July. 
Located on the shores of Lake Geneva, this world-renowned festival has hosted some of the biggest names in jazz, blues, and rock. The vibrant atmosphere with live performances and stunning lake views is an unforgettable experience. Let's not forget the quirky yet charming onion market, Ziba Le Marit, in Bern, held on the fourth Monday of November. This traditional folk festival sees the city turn into a market of onions and garlic, decorated with braided onions, crafts, and seasonal treats. The festive spirit, with confetti battles and mulled wine, makes it a unique Swiss experience. In the alpine village of Les Garennes, we find the Chalandamars. Held on March 1st, this ancient festival welcomes spring with children ringing bells and parading through the streets, a custom said to drive away winter's evil spirits. The sound of bells and traditional songs fills the air, symbolizing renewal and joy. Finally, the Geneva Festival in August is a grand celebration. This two-week event features concerts, street artists, and food stalls, culminating in a magnificent fireworks display over Lake Geneva. It's a fusion of culture, art, and gastronomy, showcasing the best of Swiss hospitality. Switzerland's traditions and festivals are as diverse as its landscapes. They offer a window into the country's soul, where ancient customs meet modern celebration, meet modern conclusion. As we wrap up our Swiss adventure here on Kabuma Travel, it's time to reflect on the incredible journey we've had through one of the world's most beautiful and diverse countries. Switzerland, a landlocked gem in the heart of Europe, has shown us that it's much more than just chocolate, cheese, and clocks. It's a country rich in history, culture, and natural beauty. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more travel stories. Let's take a moment to reminisce about the highlights of our Swiss sojourn. We began our journey in the Swiss Alps, marveling at the majestic Matterhorn and the pristine ski slopes of Zermatt and St. Moritz. These iconic mountains not only offered breathtaking views, but also a playground for winter sports enthusiasts. In the summer, their lush hiking trails provided us with unforgettable alpine experiences. Switzerland's cities, each with its unique charm, captivated us with their blend of historical richness and modern vibrancy. We strolled through the medieval streets of Lucerne, experienced the cosmopolitan flair of Zurich, and delved into the international spirit of Geneva. In Bern, the capital city, we walked through history, surrounded by UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Our cultural exploration took us through a myriad of festivals and traditions, from the lively Fasnacht in Basel to the serene beauty of the Montreux Jazz Festival. We experienced the heart and soul of Swiss heritage, learning that each canton and community has its unique customs that enrich the national tapestry. Swiss cuisine was a delightful journey of flavors. We indulged in the fondue and raclette, savored the finest chocolates, and discovered local delicacies in farmers' markets. The culinary diversity of Switzerland reflects its multicultural landscape, offering a taste of not just Swiss, but also global flavors. The artistic and architectural grandeur of Switzerland left us in awe. From the contemporary art scene in Basel to the architectural wonders like the Chateau de Chillon, we saw how art and history are interwoven into the Swiss fabric. The modern masterpieces like the thermal baths and bowels showed us Switzerland's innovative edge. We relaxed in some of the world's most luxurious resorts, where elegance met tranquility. Whether it was the historic grandeur of the Badrutz Palace or the modern opulence of the Chetty Andermatt, each stay was a unique experience, offering unparalleled hospitality and scenic beauty. But perhaps the most enduring memory of Switzerland is its natural beauty. From the serene lakes like Geneva and Lucerne to the awe-inspiring Aletsch Glacier and the picturesque Lauterbrunnen Valley, Switzerland's landscapes were a constant source of wonder and inspiration. As we conclude our Swiss journey, it's clear that Switzerland is a country that offers something for everyone. From the adventure seeker to the culture enthusiast, from the nature lover to the luxury traveler. It's a country where tradition meets innovation, where natural beauty coexists with urban sophistication. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through Switzerland. We hope it inspired your next travel adventure or at least added a few destinations to your bucket list. Remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be explored. And here at Kabuma Travel, we'll continue to bring those wonders to you. Until our next adventure, stay curious, keep exploring, and remember, every journey tells a story.